Facebook predator? What causes the narcissist to use Facebook so much? Firstly, it is the online success story of recent times. Originating in 2004, it has seen off its rivals such as Bebo and MySpace and has dominated the market. Over a billion people have Facebook profiles. That is a lot of potential targets for us. Secondly, it provides us with an extensive net to cast through whichever device we happen to have to hand. It is accessible and effective. Thirdly, presentation of information on Facebook in particular tells our kind plenty of things which allow us to ascertain whether there is a viable target in our sites. I am not referring to this information in terms of, for instance, the class traits that we look for. By way of example, a somatic narcissist would seek out those who post plenty of pictures of how physically attractive they are, their ongoing diet and exercise regime, which would of course appeal to them. Instead, I am going to highlight for you a number of instances on Facebook which tell our kind that we are looking at a person who has a higher susceptibility to being seduced. Thus, if we then determine thereafter that this person has the relevant empathic, class and, hopefully, special traits, then we know that a play should be made to ensnare them. Accordingly, what is it that you might post on Facebook that signals to my kind that you are susceptible to being seduced and drawn into our false reality? 1. You include a detailed list of your favourite books, television programmes and films. I do not mean three or four of your favourites, but 15 or more in one or more of the above categories. This signals to us that you not only have time to watch and detail the books and movies, but you are content for people to know that you do. This tells us that you are essentially lonely and therefore apt for some attention. Two, you detail your relationship status. It does not matter what the status reads incidentally, because even if you stated that you are married, engaged or in a relationship, we do not recognise any such boundary as being a hindrance to our advances. Indeed, we take the view that you are probably short of attention in that relationship. By declaring what your relationship status is, you are wanting to initiate contact and you are providing us with material to do so. If you do not feel the need to tell anybody your relationship status, that signals to us that you are likely to have sufficient self-esteem not to need to herald it. Therefore, you are probably harder to ensnare. 3. Ask me, ask me, ask me. You know those statuses which read, So angry right now, I am fuming or totally heartbroken. Such statuses are just a fishing hook for nosy and supposedly supportive friends who are actually far more interested in showing concern and mock horror through some bad acting to then ask the writer what is up, what has happened and what is going on. The mysterious injunction will then be issued for the apparently caring friend to inbox me or I will inbox you as yet another noun suddenly finds that it has become a verb. These attention seekers are also avoided by our kind. They are unlikely to be of our brethren but they are certainly self-centred and exhibiting some narcissistic traits and therefore less likely to provide us with what we need. Thus, they are noted as an avoid. Number four, I miss you. Anybody who posts about missing a relative or partner who has passed away, either directly by stating, I miss you, dad, you are my best friend, or post memes appertaining to people watching down from above, this lingering grief acts as a beacon to us and tells us this person is susceptible to being ensnared far more readily because of their ongoing emotional state and their propensity to become emotional if the matter of the deceased individual is raised. 5. Frequent comment about events. You are interested in the world and other people. You are not there to keep showing us what you had to eat for dinner or your latest car. You provide attention and do not get much in return. This tells us that you will be highly amenable to receiving our attention. 6. More pictures of animals than people. This is not so much about you being an animal lover, which of course tells us that you have empathic traits, but is more about the fact that you are a giver of attention to this lower life form and you tend to get your attention back from the animal rather than people. 
It might be that you would rather keep the company of animals than people, although this is rarer than someone who likes animals and for once would enjoy the attention of another person, namely us. 7. Frequent comments about your achievements and what you have been doing. You may not be one of us, but you are certainly exhibiting narcissistic traits, and therefore caution will be exercised before we proceed. These may be healthy narcissistic traits if we unearth additional information about you, which encourages our targeting of you. But seeing this turns on an amber light. 8. Sharing charity appeals. Yet another indicator that you are more about giving time and attention to others as opposed to receiving it. A mythic purging item to see on somebody's wall. 9. Pictures of family and friends. Few selfies. It may be the case that everything in your photo album is animal-based, and see the point that I have just referred to. If there are pictures of people as well, we like to ascertain who these people are. If they are family and friends rather than random people from night out, this again provides us with a positive indicator. If your photo album is you and nothing else, then another amber light will come on. 10. Your profile picture is a scene, an object, but not you. This suggests again that your self-esteem is not what it might be, that you are not keen to be the centre of attention, and as a consequence, this acts as a beacon to our kind. It may also, of course, mean that you are unfortunately faced, although this is not always a concern, if it is a cerebral or victim narcissist scouring your profile. 11. Children are the future. A few proud parent pictures actually prove encouraging. The existence of children provides additional fuel sources and evidence that you are a caring and giving person, something which we like to see. If, however, your timeline and photo album are plastered with your offspring, then this puts us off. You might think that someone who is busy with a child or children would be in need of attention. They are not. They get plenty from their children, and more to the point, this tells us that your own attention will be on somebody else and not us. Therefore, our efforts are more likely to be wasted. Thus, it is an avoid. 12. You don't get many likes on your comments. Whatever you happen to post may be interesting, amusing and thoughtful, but you rarely get many comments or likes as we scroll through your timeline. There is an attention deficit, waiting to be filled. 13. Posts about your romantic partner. If you are always talking about your romantic partner, how much you love them, how much you miss them and such like, you are going overboard. And this to us is a further indicator of low self-esteem, which we can readily exploit. This gets even better if we see no evidence of reciprocation. We can prepare the love bombers. 14. Poetry. If you post poetry, whether it is your own or somebody else's, this tells us that you are lonely. Therefore, you will be most susceptible to our attention. 15. Membership of support groups. Naturally, this will tell us that you are likely to be empathic and or have special traits, which is most encouraging. But at this early stage, we regard the evidence of this on your Facebook wall that you are again providing attention to others, which means there is likely to be a deficit, which we can exploit with regards to you. The more of these indicators we see, naturally the more encouraging it is, which tells us that you will be susceptible to an approach by us and our charm. Other indicators cause us to exercise caution that may well result in us moving on to a different target if these warning signs are not heavily offset by positive indicators. The friend request and or message will be readied in anticipation of making a move.